right to our top story tonight. All new at 10, in the last couple of hours, the Texas House has passed an immigration bill that makes illegally crossing the Texas-Mexico border a state crime. That bill is now headed to Governor Greg Abbott's desk. Here's how it all shook out during the eight hours of deliberations. Voting, Mr. The Texas Bernie House floor Bernie occupied with rounds of votes, Bernie. heated debate you, and Speaker. discussion Tuesday as lawmakers consider two immigration bills, Senate Bill 3 and Senate Bill 4. We understand there's an issue. This whole country understands there's an issue and we must protect our borders, but we must do so humanely. Border security, one of Governor Greg Abbott's top priorities this legislature, has politicians divided. But now Senate Bill 4 is headed to the governor's desk after objection from Democrats in several proposed amendments that failed. This is a country of immigrants and so is the state. And I'm just very disappointed that we're now putting people at risk. Senate Bill 4 passes after an 83 to 61 vote, making illegal crossings of the Texas-Mexico border a misdemeanor with the possibility of enhancing to a felony. Members, this amendment would save taxpayer dollars and valuable state and local resources by limiting this legislation to only allowing commissioned DPS officers to detain people for the purpose of this bill. The bill allows state peace officers to arrest undocumented migrants and requires state judges to order them back across the border instead of facing prosecution. The rhetoric around this legislation and other legislation like it that makes people in our state, our neighbors, fellow citizens, fellow Texans, afraid to go to law enforcement. That makes our state less safe, not more safe. Some lawmakers say Senate Bill 4 is unconstitutional in that the Supreme Court has ruled that states cannot enforce immigration laws. Tonight, the House amended Senate Bill 3, which provides more funding for additional border barriers. It now goes to the Senate. The House is now in recess until 10 a.m. on Friday, where they are expected to take up educational savings accounts.